Part 1 Introduction to Quadratic Equations Hello, this is Mr. Quadratic Equation. Nice to meet you! Let us now focus our scopes beyond linear equations into new territory, uh, quadratic equations. Uh, you remember from before uh, that the degree of a polynomial is the highest exponent that appears in the polynomial. A quadratic polynomial has a degree of 2. Uh, here are a few quadratics for your consideration x to the second, or x squared, 5x squared minus 2x plus 3, and 7 minus x squared are all quadratic polynomials. Um, excuse me, Mr. Math Guy? Okay, I'm here with him right now. Um, we have a question. If the degree is like 2, okay, then yes. why do they call it a quadratic? I mean, I thought quad was like... Four. <laughs> yes, 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 of course. That's a very good question. In this instance, a quad uh, comes from the same root as the word quadrilateral, which is a four-sided figure like a, uh, like a square. Oh, oh, a square. You mean like you? Yes, yes. Okay. Uh, an x with an exponent of two is called x squared. A quadratic refers to the presence of a squared variable. In linear equations, the only power of x that appears is the first power. x to the first equals x. So linear equations have only first degree polynomials. We'll see that when you multiply two linear polynomials together, the result is usually a quadratic. This is actually how many quadratic equations come up in applications. So you better get used to it. All right, before we chart a course into unknown quadratic regions in our search for x, Let's briefly go over two items, squares and square root notation and binomial multiplication. 